Hey, this is Matt from Investquant. Today is Thursday, October 29th, 2020. And this morning, when I was going through my alerts, which is where I save uh, some of my research for potential trades that I'll uh, be looking at taking today, I've got a handful of alerts. I'll be honest with you, most of them are to the short side, but I do have one um, that is based upon a report today that is actually more of a long bias. So I've got some conflicting data, but the ones that are on the short side require very specific opening locations, and I really don't know where we're gonna open right now. Uh, the one that does not have any opening location within the alert is based upon the GDP report, which is due out this morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. And if I click on it, you can see these are the results of going long on GDP report day at the open when in a similar market environment. So that environment being below a 10 and above a 200. So this is just a general bias that has uh, played out on GDP report day, no opening filter here. Of course, you can add that um, once we get closer to the open and we know which way we're going to be opening. Right now, I have no idea which way we're gonna be opening. It's been a little bit volatile, um, but these are the results based upon going long at the open on GDP report day in a similar environment and exiting at the close. And what I want to do is just go back up to symbol and settings and add the other instruments to it. We can take a look at all four of them and get a feel for what this day has done historically when the report's out. All right, here are the results. So same setup, you are in a market where you close below the 10, but above the 200 day moving average. And then today is GDP report day. The results are based upon going long at the open and exiting at the close of regular trading hours, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. So we've got 38 samples in the S&P. We've got 39 in the NASDAQ, 41 in the Dow, and 44 in the Russell. So very similar sample sizes there. And if we look at the win rates on them, S&P coming in, 63% of those have been winners historically. The NASDAQ coming in at 62%. The Dow coming in at 63%. And the Russell coming in at 57%. So historically, this day has closed above the opening print, which is essentially what this win percent is saying, more often than it has not. So it's had a bit of a bullish lean to it. If we take a look at the average win to average loss, you can see the average loss just a little bit bigger than the average win in the S&P. Uh, it's a little bit bigger in the NASDAQ as well for the, the average loss compared to the average win. Uh, fairly similar in the Dow, average win, average loss, and then the average win is a little bit larger than the average loss in the Russell, Russell being the only one with a win rate under 60%. So the majority of these have win rates over 60%. The Russell's the one that doesn't. It's coming in just under that at 57% uh, for closing above the opening print on GDP report day, when below a 10 and above a 200. And like I said, when I was going through my other alerts, I do have quite a few alerts um, that will be favoring the short side. So just to be honest with you, there is some mixed data this morning that I'm, that I'm seeing as I'm going through some studies. But I figured I would share this one because this was the only one that I knew for sure that would be in play for today session. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today and we will see you next time.